Hi, I'm Janie Lawson and I'm a milliner. I run the Glam Hatters Tea Parties. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make hair accessories. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly hairpin. So all you need to do, cut out the shape of a butterfly in paper. Then you've got your three layers of cinema, and they are, I'll just give you a measurement, 14 centimetres by 7 centimetres, folded in half with the pattern piece pinned through. Now I'm going to cut around the pattern piece. Now all these pieces you can buy individually. This material is called cinema and it's a really great material for making hats and fascinators. Then you're going to take off your paper pattern and open it out. And it's really nice if you can use three different colours of fabric because then you get the layers coming through. I pop my pin back into the middle and I'm ready to sew on my crystals. So you take a needle and thread, use a double thread and tie a knot in the end. I'm going to start with the middle of the butterfly and the great thing about this is every time you stitch you can just add on a crystal. So you're doing two jobs in one. Okay so I stitch crystal on one side but I'm also it on the other side as that end bit of the of the butterfly might show up but for the rest of it I'm just going to do a row of crystals all the way to the end. Okay so I've got to the end of the middle, got my row of crystals there and I'm just going to do a double stitch at the back. The easiest way is to just fold it over, do a stitch Pop the needle through the stitch and pull, and that makes a nice secure knot so that the crystals won't fall off. Okay, so I've done two of those. And trim off the thread. I've decided I'm going to do a few crystals on each of the wings. So because this bit is now, it's going to be like that on your head, you need to decorate both sides because you can't really have one side decorated and the other side just have stitches. So I pull it through. I don't pull the thread all the way through because I want to do a stitch that doesn't fling straight through the uh, cinema. So there we go. And then I stitch the crystal on one side, get to the other side and stitch it on the other side as well. So I'm doing both sides at the same time. There we go. So I've got three on each side and I'm going to do a little tying off stitch by coming through one side but leaving the rest of the stitch there. I come back through and go through the middle of the stitches so it makes it nice and secure so that the crystals don't fall off. So trim that one and I'm going to do the same on the other side of the opposite wing. There we go, so I've done the same on both sides. I'm just going to do my tying off stitch and now it's time to put on the hairpin. So I've got my butterfly all ready to go on the pin. I'm going to open the wings out a little bit. It's quite nice because then you get to see all of the colours if you just roll up the edges of the wings. So with my Kirby pin, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew it onto the back. I'm going to hold it in place and the easiest way to do it is if you lay the Kirby pin on the side and then you stitch in, sorry, just start at the back, do my little lasso stitch to start with, make sure it's all nice and secure and it doesn't pull through and then I'm going to stitch along the curvy side of the hairpin. 
and then once it's stitched in, I can then move it around so that it's facing the right way. Then you're going to do your tying off stitch. keep your stitch out and you're just going through the loop. Tie that off and then you can turn the curvy pin to the right way so you can then put it into your hair. And that's your butterfly clip. So that's your tutorial on how to make a butterfly hair pin.